welcome to the very first episode, episode zero of a brand new podcast called Picard Cast, where we will be uh, recapping and reviewing every episode in Star Trek the Picard series is coming to CBS All Access here in the States. I am one of your hosts. My name is Rebecca, and every week I will be joined by my incredibly talented co-host, Brooke. Welcome, Brooke, to Picard. Hi. <laughs> We're so excited. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of, I just want to warn everybody, there's going to be a lot of giggling on this podcast, and there's going to be a lot of um, fangirling and squealing and talking about how cute his dog is and there's going to be a lot of that just want to warn you um so yeah so uh again this is going to be our episode zero in which we're going to just introduce ourselves to you and we're going to break down the teaser trailer that was just released at san diego comic-con uh for star trek picard so um i'm going to throw it over to brooke she is going to tell you how you can uh, find us and talk to us on the interwebs Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll be uh, available wherever fine podcasts are found. <laughs> as long as we're, you know, as long as everybody okays us. Um, <laughs> but if you'd like to contact us, you can email us at PicardCast, that's P-I-C-A-R-D-A-S-T at gmail.com. Uh, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash PicardCast. Or you can tweet at us at twitter.com, the pod, pod <laughs> the Picard cast. I can't <laughs> talk. I'm so sorry. That's okay. So, yeah, it's the Picard cast. Uh, on, yes. Cause... Our Twitter handle is the Picard cast because someone took it before I got around to making an email to take it. <laughs> so, we are the Picard cast because we are the official yeah. Picard cast um, not affiliated with CBS uh, so <laughs> that's awesome thank you Brooke and um, if you want to talk to us individually um, I am uh, on Twitter as well at Dollface Rebecca and that's Rebecca spelled R-E-B-E-K-A-H and Brooke what's your Twitter handle again? Brookita37 uh, and um, I actually if you go to the Picard cast on Twitter. You'll see both of our names in the in our bio, so you can click on us there if you can't remember how to spell either one. Oh, mm -hmm. that was smart of you. You're you're very smart. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's awesome. Yeah, we we definitely want to hear from you. You can send us an email. You could tweet at us. Send us a Facebook message. And of course, once we're up on iTunes or Apple Podcasts, uh, please rate and review. We love five star reviews. Um, but we'll accept one star if you think we really deserve it. Although I don't think we'll ever really deserve a one star. Um, but first, uh, this is a show all about Star Trek, specifically, of course, Captain Picard. But uh, I do want to let you guys know what our connection to Star Trek is, why we decided to do this show. Um, Brooke, can tell everybody a little bit about like your connection to Star Trek and um, specifically to Captain Picard. Um, well, it's kind of funny because I was more, I mean, more into Star Wars with the whole Star Wars, Star Trek thing. But, uh, and it's kind of funny how I ended up watching The Next Generation. We didn't have cable and it was... Um, I don't know, I guess syndicated, and they played it every day. Mm -hmm. Well, about a little bit after I got home from school, like between after school and before the news. And I just started watching it one day, and that was kind of it. I have watched it every day after that, and I ended up seeing all the episodes. And um, that introduced me to Patrick Stewart, and I really enjoy him as an actor, and he ended up being in several different things that I like. You know, he's also in the X-Men and uh, now he's doing this new show as a character that I've already grown to love. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's about it. But I ended up watching uh, Discover, not Discovery. I wanted to watch Discovery. Sorry. <laughs> uh, there's so many. There's so many different types. And I am actually really excited about this. This is so funny. Um, 
Uh, I watched Deep Space Nine, and I really love that one, too. And I haven't gotten around to watching um, Enterprise or what's the other one? Voyager. That I, Voyager, that I knew what it was, and I could not remember what it was called all of a sudden. I haven't watched either one of those. I've seen some of the movies. I'd seen the original series after I'd watched The Next Generation because uh, my ex-husband really loved the original series, and we watched all of those. We binge watched them whenever we found them. I don't know if they were on some streaming service or if he illegally got them. I don't know. But we watched all of those then, so that was really my first time seeing most of them, of those. So that was kind of exciting. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, cool. So mostly next generation exposure. Mostly, yeah. Yeah, which, I mean... How can you not love the next generation of Star Trek? I mean, it's an excellent series. A lot of people, mm-hmm. that was their first introduction to Star Trek. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so um, my connection to Star Trek is very different than yours, Brooks. Because right. uh, uh, basically, um, from the day I was born, I came out watching <laughs> Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> My dad is a huge Star Trek fan. He, as a young uh, young man, watched the original series when it aired live and was always a fan of it. And then um, as uh, him and my mom started having kids, my dad um, shared his love of Star Trek with all of us. And so uh, I grew up uh, watching all of the original series. We ordered them. I... Th- Pretty sure from Columbia Record House. Um, yes. I know. Yes. I definitely did that. <laughs> dating myself. And they came on VHS tapes, again, dating myself. And every month we would get a new tape and each one would have two episodes on it. So we'd get, we'd get the package and we would like rip it open and watch the two episodes like right away. And then we were like, oh, now we have to wait like a whole month. But then every day after that, we'd usually watch, just rewatch whatever episodes we already had. Um, I'm sure I watched a bunch on syndication as well because it was on syndication for quite a while, the original series. And even now on cable, you can find it on a lot of channels. Um, so when Next Generation came out, um, I watched that live and uh, absolutely loved it. And I've watched every um, Star Trek series since. Uh, I watched them all live. I've seen all the movies, the original, the Next Generation movies, and the reboots. I've even watched the animated series. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, from the 70s. I forgot all about the animated series. <laughs> ha- have you ever seen it? Or, or no? No, I've seen, like, little bits, like clips, I guess, or stills or something from it but i've not actually seen any of the episodes yeah so i i even watched that so i am as pretty hardcore of a a star trek fan as you can get so when when brooke approached me and said hey would you like to do a picard recap show podcast i was very excited i didn't even hesitate i was like yes yes i do um so here we are recording our very first episode and we couldn't even wait for the show to come out because we had to talk about the trailer at San Diego Comic-Con. Um, and I do also want to let you guys know on our Facebook page, I did post a link on YouTube to the entire panel. So if you'd like to watch the Star Trek panel at San Diego Comic-Con, you totally can on our Facebook page. But um, I guess let's just jump right into the trailer here. Um So before we do a deep dive into it, um, Brooke, I I know you've seen the trailer. I've watched it a bunch of times, too. Um, What were your overall thoughts on uh, seeing this trailer from San Diego Comic-Con? I was real excited about it. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, It's got the sort of visuals of the newer, uh, newer Star Trek movies. Mm-hmm. What do they call that? They call that some other universe or uh, something. Yeah, they... well, so it's it's usually called the Kelvin verse, although some people okay. call it the JJ verse. Oh, it's, okay. Yeah, JJ yeah. Abrams. <laughs> yeah. So it, they kind of had the sort of visual of that because it's a lot more, uh, you know, special effects and things, and it's really sort of going forward with 
the technology we have now and where it would be, you know, in the future for him and all that kind of thing. But it still, uh, it still felt sort of like it belonged where in the universe to me. Mm -hmm. You know, it didn't seem like, oh yeah, this is a, this is a different Captain Picard. Let's just throw it off, <laughs> you know? Right. <laughs> Um, but it, it was really exciting. I was glad to see um, that it wasn't full of people from from the past, but there were still some, a few cameos, and we know there's going to be a few more. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I got real excited for it. That's I awesome. watched it several times. Oh, awesome. <laughs> So what did you think of it, Rebecca? <laughs> well, I guess it was okay. Um, well, I, I just want to like step back for a sec to the when they actually announced this show, which was last year, <laughs> actually, when they announced that there would be a Picard show. I actually cried. I cried so hard because I was so happy that this beloved character of of Jean-Luc Picard was coming back and that Patrick Stewart was willing to step into the role again after saying he'd hung up basically the uniform and he was never going to play Jean-Luc Picard again. Um, mm -hmm. And then, so then watching the trailer over the weekend, um, I cried again because I got very emotional about it. And uh -huh. I have such a deep, I have such a long-term history with Star Trek that I, I can't help but get emotional when I see new stuff coming out. But, um, so, yeah, I, I I'm going to agree with a lot of what you said. It, it fits right into the Next Generation universe. I, I don't feel like it it's out of place or mm -hmm. I don't feel like it's another, like, an Elseworlds story. It seems totally to be part of the Next Generation. Um, yes, there will be certainly Next Generation people who will make appearances. And in this trailer, um, and I guess we should say, we are going to break down this trailer completely, so if you haven't seen it and you don't want to be spoiled, I don't know why you're listening to this. You should watch the trailer <laughs> first. Um, but there was a big surprise cameo toward the end that I really did not expect. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll talk about that, too. And and m much like you, I, I actually do not want to see a ton of Next Generation people in this. I would love this to be its own show. And not be like Next Generation 2.0 or just rehashing. Right. You know? And I looked at the cast list on IMDb and several of, maybe even all of the people who were from, you know, Next Generation or whatever, they, they're they all just on there for like a show or two. So it's not going to be, there's not going to be any, you know, long threads about mm -hmm. anyone or you know, so yeah, I, I noticed the same thing too, which I was actually pretty like I was I was okay, I was happy about that because I I if this show is going to be called Star Trek Picard, I really would like it to be about Picard. I want this to be right. about something that means I want this to be about a, a journey he's going to go on, and certainly if he has in a, a, a if he has some cameos along the way from next gen people, I have no problem with that, but I just don't want that to take away from the focus of him. Uh -huh. um, so, and I think we're on the same page as far as that goes, which is yeah. great. But um, yeah, so love the trailer. Um, we're going to jump right into it here now. So the trailer opens with, we get like a sweeping image over these vineyards. We see like a large house looks, you know, probably is this is Picard's family home um we hear a, a woman in a voiceover asking have you ever been a stranger to yourself um we get some scenes of Picard like stepping into we're stepping into a room in the house which looks to me like a bedroom mm -hmm. um and something I noticed and and I'm sure you remember from Next Generation you know Picard's family were very um they were not really like uh, technology people. Like he was the mm -hmm. only one in his family who wanted to go to space. Everybody else was happy. 